Kia ora whanau, probably the hottest day of the year so far and I'm a thick enough cunt to be out here trying to cook some over the top chilli on a barbecue. Let's get it! First things first, got our heat beads nice and hot. Just going to tip those followers out into the weber and chuck our camp oven on there. And then we're going to saute our onions, red onions and a whole heap of butter. Practically deep fried our onions and some butter and chuck some chorizos in there, give a bit of a mix of cunt flavour. Looking slippery and mumsy after a couple of bottles of wine on a Friday night. I'm going to chuck a few more ingredients in there. Got some garlic, some capsicum, some coriander stems, and a bit of chipotle sauce. You can help make it spicy the mumsy's attitude when you get home after a three day bender. Chuck another chunk of butter in there, just holding it off to the side, aka reducing the temperature. It's going to keep stirring this fella, let those flavours infuse for a while. Got some red kidney beans, some beer, some vaza if you will, some tomatoes, and some Worcester. Before that, I'm going to fry some tomato paste in through. Fucking heaps of it. Got us a bag of wild venison mince, got a heap of butcher's axe al hacha, Tex-Mex seasoning in there. Got my cavity searching gloves on, just going to get amongst it, mix it all up. Got our venison meat all over our sauce on a rack, hence what's just got over the top chilli, going to catch all the flavours dripping out of that meat. Got heat sauce on the other side, chuck a bit of cherry wood on there for some smoke. And it's going to hit this with a bit more wild hacha, just for good measure. And chuck some in the sauce too, because why the fuck not? Crucial part of the cook, make sure you put the lid on this way. So you've got a heat sauce on one side, smokes that'll come over the meat and out the vent. Then topping our coals up as we go to keep that temp up, just cut her in half, still cooked inside, so I'm going to drop that into the sauce, mash it up and get it in there. She's thickened up a lot, we still want the meat to soak up some flavours but we don't want it to burn, so I'm going to top it up with a bit of this red lady piss, no good for drinking but beautiful for cooking. Look in the part, she's nice and thick again, one last secret ingredient, some dark chocolate. Why you ask? Because I fucking said so. Trust the process. Here's our final brew. You can chuck it on some rice or slap it in a tortilla. I've opted for nachos tonight. Got some melted cheese on there, some sour cream, but a homemade guacamole and salsa, and some Doritos. Don't forget the frozen margarita. Mexicans know what's good. Cold drinks and hot food.